Now that we have gotten the upper gear case off the lower, split the case, take it off, put it on the bench, we need to remove the lower unit fixture and put in the upper gear case holding fixture. So two special tools you need right away. The upper head fixture is called the upper gear housing holder. It's 385-6163. There's two versions, an older version. This is the newer version with multiple holes for multiple drive. The original holder only had four holes in it. Um, if you order a new one, you're gonna get this design anyway. The other tool you're gonna need, which is a spline socket. This fits up into the upper gear case in the vertical drive shaft, and it fits onto the square slot onto the fixture. That will lock the vertical drive shaft in place so we can loosen the top nut and torque the top nut. This needs to move up and down so you can engage that vertical drive shaft. Um, do not over tighten the bolt because you will mash the little brass washer that's in there that goes onto the shaft. The shaft has a slot, a flat brown slot in it so that that little washer fits on that slot and you tighten the bolt into it. If you over tighten it, it's going to bind up and then you're going to have to take the snap ring out, take it off, clean it off and put it back together. A little bit of grease on it is um, great just to leave it in that fixture. Uh, the drive only fits in the fixture in one direction. I've made marks on one side. I did that years ago so I could remember which side it faces because you're not going to probably do this all the time. So simply take the drive and line it up with the studs. Set it on the fixture. Once it's on the fixture, push that vertical drive shaft up and what I need to do is I need to also have the gear in drive, in, in shift it into gear. The center position is neutral, so I just shift it up or shift it down, and that will rotate the vertical drive shaft. It'll put the clutch into gear. So I'm going to push up on the fixture, rotate the shaft until I feel it lock in to the vertical drive shaft. I want to make sure it's locked. It will turn in one direction, but it won't turn in the other. There we go, I heard it bottom out. So once that's all the way up, tighten that nut, takes the three quarter inch wrench, and lightly tighten it. I mean very lightly, just so the shaft won't fall down. Don't crank it down, you're going to crush that washer, and then the shaft won't move up and down. The next step is to make sure that the fixture um, that the drive, the upper gear case won't fall off the fixture because you're going to want to rotate it when you're doing um, your shim calculations or should I say your gear lash measurements, all right, your gear pattern. So what I do is I take two of the nuts that hold the upper gear case onto the lower unit and I put them on opposite corners. Just bring them up by finger. You don't have to tighten them up. It's strictly to keep the fixture um, the drive from falling out of the fixture. The other thing that you need to remember is this has to move around a little bit for that vertical drive shaft. If you tighten these nuts up um, and the drive is kind of crooked, then you're gonna put a sideways pressure on that shaft and it will interfere with some of your measurements. So make sure it's loose. Just bring those nuts up till they're, you know, till they touch the housing, back them off a quarter turn, and that way it's safely in position. The next video I'm going to show you is I'm going to pull this all apart. I'm going to pull the covers off so that we can see what's inside it. So the next step would be to remove the input drive. It's four bolts. They're all three-eighths. Takes a three-eighths drive, three-eighths socket. The top cover should have two standard fasteners on the top. And then on the back side, it should have two standard fasteners. These drives, um, the early DPS drives are all American. So it's standard US. Um, all the Swedish drives, DPR, DPH, SPE, DPE, the old 290 drives, 280 drive are all metric. Those are made in Sweden. These are actually made in uh, the United States. They're assembled in the United States. I believe the gears come from overseas. Um, another part of this is the specialty of some of these bolts and some of the bolts go in the back cover here and they actually have a Torx head that's inserted into it. 
And the reason for that is the socket is actually going to get hung up under the top cover. So these two fixtures should have a Torx uh, receiving bolt. They'll also receive a 3-8 socket. The front ones are typically just 3-8 sockets. Um, make sure before you take it apart and you start taking the covers off that you take the dipstick out. You don't want to pop the cover off and break this off. So take that off, take the four bolts off, this will slide out. Take the four fasteners off, the top cover will come off, take the four fasteners off, and we'll remove the shift actuator. So I'll get that ready to go, I'll get all the bolts out, and then I'll start another video.